Hi, it's Thai Bug, and today we're making onigiri. So as you can see, I'm filming this video a little bit different because I didn't feel like putting on makeup or anything, and I obviously have hair rollers in, and just enjoy me dancing while I talk about why I'm making onigiri. So previously, I pointed to the side because that's where I'm making the rice. But uh, I'm making onigiri because I've been having a lot of late nights recently because of a dance performance class, and I'll do a video on that later. But um, I've been having a hard time making dinner for me because the class starts right when I usually eat dinner. And I remember that I basically lived off of onigiri, salmon onigiri to be specific, when I was in Japan, and I would eat that like six times a day. So I thought maybe this will help me. Uh, fuel myself for a dance so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna make onigiri and hopefully it turns out good because I had to look up lots of separate recipes because recipes for onigiri were more just like how to assemble it so let's get started and I was cringy okay bye so first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna get one pound of salmon and those are the two salmons I got and we're gonna do, um, you're gonna rinse the salmon and then you're gonna spread the sake on the salmon and it's just one tablespoon of sake. And this is the type of sake I got. I had to get my mom to get it cause obviously I'm not 21 yet. And then I'm just spreading it around the salmon and making sure I get it on both pieces cause I couldn't get one, one pound piece of salmon. I had to get half pound. Yeah, you can see it anyways. And then I am putting that to the side because I don't have hands. I'm using one hand to film this. And then I'm just going to pat, 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 pat it into both sides of the salmon. And you're going to leave the skin on the salmon because it's going to help absorb everything. And just pat both pieces. So everything is nice and sake-y. <laughs> you can also use dry white wine if you don't feel like getting sake. And then you're going to let this sit for 10 minutes to let everything absorb. Yep. And yeah, that's me saying 10 minutes. And then when you come back, you're going to pat it dry with a paper towel. So it's nice and dry. <laughs> oh, filming voiceover is harder than I thought. Just, just enjoy it, okay? You, you see what I'm doing. You're patting both sides dry. And it's hard because I'm filming with one hand because my tripod wouldn't work with this. So I'm struggling. But you know what? That's like my favorite part about my videos is just watching me struggle with everyday activities. Because you would think I would know how to do this stuff. You would think anyone would know how to do this stuff. But obviously not me. So next you're going to apply 5 teaspoons of sea salt. So I'm doing 1 teaspoon on one fillet and another teaspoon on the other fillet and then back and forth and I'm rubbing it into the salmon so it's all nice and spread out and then like it'll actually stick to the salmon so I did like two on, on the top side and then like the other three on the bottom side or like two and a half on three on the top side and two on the other side I don't really remember because this was another thing this video that was hard to film was because it was very disjointed and I didn't feel like putting on makeup every single day because um, after you put the salt on, you have to let it sit for two days. And I'm so glad I looked at that before I was planning to film because otherwise I would have come to a roadblock of having to wait two days to make it. So yeah, and that's just me getting the extra salt that kind of fell off. And I'm um, making sure everything's covered in pat patting, pat pat. And yeah, my hands are gross. And then I'm going to put it into an airtight container with one um, paper towel on the bottom. And you're going to make sure there's enough space for it, obviously, because you want everything to have space. And then I'm going to put two paper towels on top of that and just make sure everything's wrapped up and covered because this is going to help the moisture stay in the um salmon I guess I, I I don't really know I just kind of followed the recipes oh I guess I didn't say this but this is a recipe for Japanese salted salmon that we're gonna put in the onigiri yeah um and I'm having a hard time here because I only have one hand trying to cover everything 
<laughs> watching me struggle. Yeah, I couldn't get the sides to close. But, yep. The, and then you're just going to put it in the fridge for two days and make sure nobody opens it. And this is two days later, and I'm struggling to open this again. But there it is. And you're going to take the paper towels off, and they should be, like, moist. Moist. I hate that sound. And then you're going to pat them dry again with paper towels. And you're going to put in a tin foil lined uh, container that you can put in the oven. And the oven is set to 400 degrees. And for my oven, I have to set it to bake. So obviously you want it to be on bake and not like broil or anything. And I'm going to put it in for 20 to 25 minutes. I usually just do like the middle time. So like 23 minutes. So then that's the first round done. And that's what it looks like. And it kind of looks gross. <laughs> it does not look done. But I have to go get a oven mitt to protect my monol, my hands. Is that plural, monols? I don't know. Don't, don't let me speak Spanish. Then I'm pulling that out and I am having a hard time again because I'm filming with one hand and working with one hand. And I'm gonna get, oh, I have to close the oven door. That's, that's right, don't leave that open. Waste of electricity. And that's gonna get a fork and I'm gonna cut into the center of it where it's the thickest to see if it's cooking. And it still looks a bit too translucent. So I think I'm gonna, ew, I hope I didn't taste that cause that did not look done. Yeah, I didn't taste it. Okay, good. Um, and I'm going to put this back in the oven. And don't worry about how ugly the salmon looks like cause it's so shredded cause you're gonna shred it later to put it in the onigiri. So no worries. And yeah, putting it back in the oven and I'm going to do it for another five minutes. But make sure to turn it around so you're not cooking the same sides over. My oven's older so you have to think about that type of stuff. Anyways, five minutes more. That's me showing you. And this is five minutes later. And let's see what it looks like. It kind of looks the same. <laughs> um... I, I kind of just decided it would be done at this point because I didn't want it to get too dry. And if you could, I take out the audio in here, but I'm singing in my head. And I'm like, salmon is good. <laughs> so now I'm tasting it, and I did not expect it to be as salty as it is. But it is pretty good. You don't taste the sake at all. I don't, I don't really know what the sake does for the recipe. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It's kind of still pinkish, a little bit translucent. I don't know how to describe how it's cooked, but it's cooked. And yeah, next is making the rice. So this is Nishiki uh, sushi rice. It's the sticky rice. And um, I didn't realize sticky rice was different than r regular white rice. So I had to go get that. And I'm just going to do one and a half cups of uh, the sticky rice. And again, I'm filming with one hand. So I'm having a hard time uh, filling this up and trying to measure it. Because, you know, people have two hands for a reason. But... People with one hand function pretty well. I just have not been used to it. Oh my god, what a ramble. Anyways, that's a cup and a half. And then you're going to wash the rice because we don't want some gross, sticky rice. It's You just always wash the rice okay. And you're going to wash it until it's mostly clear. And you drain it. And this is me almost spilling all the rice out. But I caught it a bit. But look at all that rice in the sink. What a waste so sad and I'm just rinsing it some more and I'm trying to uh, figure out if I'm supposed to be shaking it or not because it looks like it's just getting dirtier but my mom tells me it's okay so if she says it's okay it's okay so you're just gonna rinse it out until you think it's clean yep that's it okay and now I am putting it in the automatic rice cooker because I did not have time to put it on the stove. I usually measure the water with my thumb, but this said to do two cups of water. And I didn't really know how to measure that with my thumb. So I just, to be safe, did two cups. And that's me turning it on. And I think it takes like 30 minutes to cook, 25 minutes, whatever. It does it for you. Now I'm back and I'm trying to figure out what step what order I'm supposed to do everything in, but I just decide to uh, get the rice first with a spoon 
And then those two little uh, bowls that I'm sticking my hand in, one is water and the other one is salt. So I spread the water on my hand and put the salt on. So the water is so the rice doesn't stick. And the salt is, uh, I don't know, to make it taste good. I don't know, but this rice is very hot because it just got done cooking. And I, I don't know, I, I didn't think about that. But look at my hands are burning. Ah! And, um... This rice wasn't sticking well together, but I didn't want to make it like sushi rice with rice vinegar and all that because then it would taste like kind of like, you know how sushi rice is kind of tart? I didn't want my onigiri to be tart because the ones I got at the Japanese convenience stores in Japan weren't tart. So I was like, oh, okay, just use sticky rice. And now I'm having a hard time with the salmon container because um, it's stupid. And this is a shredded salmon that, you know, the salmon I just showed you how to make. And I'm just using my hands. My hands are clean, okay? And I'm stuffing that in. And then I'm going to cover it with some more rice. Getting that rice. And it's not <laughs> going on. And trying to stick it all together. And you're supposed to use firm pressure to stick together, but not like too hard because then it gets all crushed. I don't know. It was kind of confusing, the instructions, because I'd made this when I was little, but then uh, I haven't made it recently. And then uh, I have to re-wet my hands because everything is sticking again and rubbing the salt in. It's kind of like an exfoliator that hurts. And then uh, <laughs> still don't have enough rice to cover all the salmon. It looks like a cute little ball, little triangle ball. And I'm getting a, oh my god, what is this called? Seaweed nori to cover it, but I didn't know how to cover it. And look at it, it's not working. It's too big and I'm getting what? I don't know how to fold it. I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> Look at it. It's just unfolded. Ah, and now it's coming apart. Ah, and that's the first onigiri. Um, I'm taking off the excess and just eating it because it doesn't look pretty. And, <laughs> and then I'm just tasting it. And it actually tastes pretty good. It tastes like what I would get at the convenience store or like a Don Quixote. So I'm proud of it, even though it looks kind of uh, disgusting, kind of ugly. Don't look at me chewing, gross. Um, but yeah, I have to get back to work now because I have to make a whole bunch of them. And I'm making some for my mom as well as for my dance class. But um, we'll get back to that. Let's see if this attempt is better. Let's observe. She seems more confident in her movements past Tai. Current Tai is judging skeptically. Skeptically? Uh, I don't know how to say that. You know what I mean. Putting the rice on top very aggressively and getting leftover rice from the spoon. What is this technique? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that's a, that's a lot of rice. Is that how much rice you usually put in onigiri? I don't know. It looks like a lot, but the form is good. I saw people on YouTube, they like have machines that make it into the shape, and that's not fair. It's hard. It's it's not fair. I wish I had that. But now I'm trying a new attempt with the um, nori, and I'm going to break it in half just by folding it. And obviously this didn't work because you can see it doesn't cover it all. And um, here's me being confused and just giving up and wrapping it like a little hand roll sushi <laughs> and <laughs> it just falls apart how fun and I'm, I'm just trying to squish it together at this point because I'm too lazy to unwrap it and try something else because it fell apart when I unwrapped it and this is me contemplating my life decisions and wondering why why I even tried this so now this is attempt two. I took some time to regroup and think about my decisions. And let's see if this works any better. We got a big scoop of sticky rice with nothing added to it. Um, I hope I wasn't supposed to add something to it. I, I don't I don't I don't know, okay? I don't know. <laughs> and adding the salt. And in the background, you can't hear because I took that audio out, but my mom is telling me that I'm making it too big, and I'm saying, I don't care. 
and I'm trying to make the little uh, gap, but I realized I did have too much rice because mothers are always right, but then I put it back, I guess, because I'm a rebel. I'm a bad child, and I'm trying to make the gap again with a giant amount of rice and putting in the little shredded salmon, and that looks like too much rice. I should have listened to my mother. Oh, hindsight 2020. And now I'm searching. Oh, wow. Just dig into that rice pot with your hand. The hot, burning rice pot. And oh, wow. It didn't stick at all. What a surprise. It's sticking to your hand. Get some more water. There you go. And let's let's try this again. I didn't put any salt on. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I realized that or if it's just hindsight again. But yes, I mean, it's easy to form it into the ball, but, oh man, you can see the frustration in my hands. And there's that big sheet of nori again. Let's fold it in half. I think here is, no, it's not here. In another attempt, I decided to fold it in fourths because I thought maybe my salmon was too large, but it's not. Here, is this... Is this correct? Is it working? <gasps> kind of. I'm, I mean, maybe my rice ball isn't too big, but oh my god. Ah, here's a frustration. It's not working and I'm just squishing it together. It's kind of cute though. <laughs> I, I'm proud of it at least. Oh, I'm frustrated proud. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so now this is me uh, pre-wrapping them for um, the days I have dance performance because I don't want to wrap it with the um, nori on because the nori got soggy. Wow, that nori sounded nori, seaweed. Let's just say seaweed, okay? And I'm doing the water and the salt and thanks, it's bright now. And... Um, trying the same technique my technique hasn't changed really probably should have but at this point I was getting really frustrated so my mom pulled up some videos on YouTube and we watched some people make it and they all made it with saran wrap to get that nice cute shape and I guess I figured I should try it but it kind of seems like a waste of saran wrap because saran wrap isn't great for the environment but whatever it, it is what it is is there an alternative to saran wrap I don't know let me know in the comments down below but now I am using the saran wrap to roll it, but as you can see, that didn't work. Look at, I'm frustrated. In the background, my mom is like, it's okay, and I'm like, no, it's not. At the same time, I, like right before this, I got my hair cut and I got bangs for the first time, so I'm kind of going through a crisis, so yeah. And this is sesame oil. In the videos, people use sesame oil to help the rice stick together, but... I don't know what this is going to do to the taste, so I just kind of rubbed it on my hands because I didn't want to pour it onto the onigiri itself. And it does help the rice stick together, I will admit. They are not wrong. And now I'm... Oh, and I got disgusted by the feel of the um, sesame oil on my hand. And here's my mom coming in to save the day like mothers do, and she is forming it into a nice little triangle. And, well, what delicate technique. There's me washing my hands in the background. Don't forget to wash your hands, ladies and gentlemen. Flu and coronavirus is going around. So let's be healthy and safe. Anyways, back to the onigiri. She is um, just wrapping it up for me, I guess. She hasn't prepared lunch for me in so long. What a throwback. I mean, this isn't lunch, it's dinner. Whatever. There's me being frustrated in the background. And my hair rollers. How cute. And... Um, I'm frustrated because my mom did it so much better than me. Look at <laughs> me observing her skill. <laughs> and then I think she's going to make another one here. To sh oh, no, she's helping me make another one. Because, you know, moms don't want to do everything for you. They want you to evolve. So here is my evolution with her assistance. Please work. Wow, that's a lot of rice. I think my mom literally told me, you don't need that much rice. But look at how much salmon I have left. That's so much salmon. And I didn't even, I, I, don't, I still have a whole bunch of salmon left over. So I guess when you make this, either make a lot of rice or make less salmon. 
but that was the recipe I found for the salted salmon. It's by Namiko, Namiko Shen. I'll put it in the description because I know I'm butchering her name. Anyways, putting the salmon in, patting the rice, forming the rice, assistance of the mother because mothers know best. And I hate the feel of the sesame oil in my hand. It was so much worse than the salt and water. And it is, it is, look at how cute that little onigiri is. And then she's just folding it up nice and neat for me. And I made like four more. I used all my rice and barely any of the salmon, which is kind of disappointing. But you know what? That's how it goes. <laughs> my mom ate a little bit too. Eating while cooking is the only joy in my life. Uh, washing the hands again because I hate the feel of the sesame oil and she's so good at folding those <laughs> and now this is my outro I hope you guys enjoyed it was a lot harder than it looked actually no it's not I'm just I wasn't that good <laughs> and yeah enjoy my hair rollers that's all I have for you guys today make sure to check out my social medias twitter YouTube, Instagram, my regular Instagram. I'll link it down below. And oh, that was me trying to do a cool outro. There it is. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>